What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new tutorial video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how this beautiful thing is created and it's basically being created with two different techniques. The first technique is the blend option replaced with spine and the second technique is just the blend tool. If you guys like my video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything. Okay man, let's go. I've been doing some sketching on forehand already. I've been creating the outline of the number five, which is basically the form for the number. It's done with the pen tool, just simple, so you guys can create any form you want, any number, anything to apply the effect on. So first of all, we want to make a rectangle. Something like this height, I think. Yeah, that's quite good, I think. We are going to add some ellipses to it. We want to add some ellipses to the corners of it. I want to make it a little bit smaller. You can scale it to the center holding Alt and Shift. We are going to duplicate this ellipse and we are going to select it, hold Alt and drag it with Shift to the left side of it, to the other corner. We are going to duplicate these as well to the bottom corners. Okay, looks quite good. Select this. Uh, we want to get rid of the black outline, but we want to make the square filled with white. So double click on the color, select the white, Press on OK, click on the stroke, and press on this box with the red diagonal line in it. We want to group these forms, select them and press on Command G and duplicate it holding Alt and Shift to the right side of it. We want to rotate these forms 45 degrees, this one as well. And now we're going to make a blend between those two forms. Select them both. Go to object. Go to blend, blend options. For the spacing, we are going to set specified steps and make it a thousand. This is also the maximum. Press on OK. Now we have just preset the settings. And now we are going to object again, blend and make. So you can see it makes a blend of thousand steps between those two elements. So you get like a, a smooth form. Okay, select this form, select this path of the number five in this case, go to object, blend and replace with spine. Okay, great. And now we, we are going to object again, blend again, reverse spine. So you can see it now reverse the blend. This looks quite good already. So this is basically the form we are going to work with. And now we are going to create the blends in between. I'm going to adjust this form a little bit and drag it a little bit up. I think it looks a little bit better. Okay, nice. So what we are going to do now, we are going to create basically these lines to create a blend with because in any case you need two objects to create a blend in between otherwise it won't work out select the pen tool in the toolbar and we are going to give it a fancy schmancy color i'm going for a red one and we're going to get rid of the white color okay just going for a bright color so you can see what you're doing when you go to the anchor point and click with alt on it it releases the curve so it gets an edgy edgy corner again click again on the other part and drag as well and then we have the path created so for the blend in between those two lines we want to create a line over here as well and we are just going to do it the same way hold alt again click on the anchor point and drag to make it a slightly curve so now we are going to create the lines for the blend over here. 
eventually the blend uh, has the same line as the upper line over here so we can just select this one i'm going to select it with the right direction selection tool and you're just only going to select this anchor point press on command c and command alt shift v we have just copied this line and we have just pasted it on the same place as you can see it is the exact same line on the same place so now we want to create this line on the bottom side click click and drag okay and release it okay that looks quite good so for these two blends i'm going to create them already so you can see what i'm going to do eventually okay select those two lines go to object blend blend options and we are going to set the specified steps to 10 and press on ok go to object again blend and make as you can see creates this beautiful blend in between those lines and we are going to do the same for these ones as well select those two lines go to object blend the blend options are already set to 10 steps so we just want to create a blend in between them. So we are just going to make the blend now. Okay, looks quite good. We can also adjust the colors and the line thicknesses of these blends as well by just selecting the parts, double click, click on the path again to select it, and then just make it two points. Okay, we're going to do the same for the bottom part as well. Select it and make it two points as well. Click out of it and now selecting this blend. Double click on it to go inside the blend and click again to select the top part and make it two points. Select the bottom part and make it two points as well. Okay, so I'm going to copy this or cut this forms by pressing on command X. I'm going to my layers panel, create another layer and I'm going to lock the first layer where the five is in. I'm going to paste the second layer on the same place by hold shift alt command and press on V. So we can't accidentally uh, remove or drag the bottom part. Now I'm going to just create all the blends for the rest of the number five. And this is just a repetition of these two. So you guys can just follow me along. Okay, so now I've been creating all those parts and in between I'm going to create the blend now. When you are creating this line, you are creating it for this blend, but you also need this line for this blend. So you can basically just copy this part and then adjust the line so it stops over here. And then this line reaches to that point over there. So the blend will be nice and smooth. So now I'm just going to create all the blends. So I'm selecting this one and this one. Go to object, blend, make. Boom. All right. And just create the blends between all the lines you have just created. <coughs> Boom. Boom. You can also press Command Alt B to create a blend. So select the lines, Command Alt B, boom. Select the lines, Command Alt B, boom. 
just I'm doing I've been doing something funny over here. I need to extend this line a little bit. Okay, just be making a nice curve here again. this <clears throat> so if you hide the first layer you will see the blend is created it looks pretty good and if you want to make the color black you can for a double click on the red line make it black and it all turns black and for my number five which I've been posting on my Instagram I've been making some blocks to hide the edges I've been putting some gradients over it so if you would like to do it you can you can do that as well but basically this is the technique I've been using to create this number five okay guys this was the video I hope you guys liked it if you did please follow the channel this will help me out big time yeah I see you in my next video peace